Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what is meant to be for you in the near future. Okay, so what's destined for you? Um, who or what is coming towards you? It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, straight away, you've got the lover's card. I'm sort of losing my voice, so sorry. Um, okay, wow, I've got I've got some powerful messages um, to relay back to you here, guys. First and foremost, you know, the lover's card, it's time to choose you. It is. It's time to choose you. It's time to choose people, okay, that choose you as well. See, a lot of readers um, regard the Lover's card here as possibly one of the most powerful cards in the deck. Okay, it's a card of love, obviously, you know, uh, acceptance, choices, self-realization as well. Pay very close attention, okay, and I do mean very close attention to the messages that you, the messages the signs, the synchronicities, reoccurring number patterns, um, dreams in particular as well, that have been appearing for you. Because to me, I feel like you're in an energy of complete soulful alignment. And what happens is your true self right now, okay, now more than ever, guys, is being matched with a person, the right person, okay, the right idea, the right connections, the right choices, the right decisions here, okay, and a lot of things in your life right now, because there is such soulful, this, this is such a soulful alignment that I see within your energy, a lot of things are manifesting itself to you as opportunities, okay, it could be, you know, it could it, it might manifest itself as work opportunities, as possibilities, um, as romantic connections, romantic matches, as anything that speaks to you, as anything that lights up your soul. And for a lot of you, I feel like you have, and this is why I begin the reading with, with saying it's time to choose you, because you're in this complete soulful alignment here, and you have all of these opportunities, and you know, these people, these choices that are being presented to you and the very people that you're connecting with, okay, the very um, opportunities that, you know, you're aligning with and you're matching up with, these speak to you and this is something that you're drawing into your energy. This is something that you're pulling in towards you. Um, you're at a journey in your life that is very, you know, you're not at a place um, in your journey and in your life that's very difficult to reach not a lot of people reach this place okay it doesn't happen um, 
well it might not happen to um, a lot of people but what's happening uh, it's happening to you and it feels like so many I just see so many people or so many opportunities okay if they haven't shown up just yet they're about to let me tell you that and to me this is a great indicator for what lies ahead for you okay for a lot of you there is a there is a beginning on a very intense romantic connection okay I'm telling you one that is feels so natural um, so loving so soulful um, I'm also seeing that for others of you there's an important choice that needs to be made okay now with this choice there's going to be an emotional fork in the road that's why you need to don't hurry and make this choice okay you need to take your time because you need to get clear on what it is that you want and you need to get clear on whether you're going to you know soulfully and um, wholly commit to this choice okay so whatever speaks to you whatever speaks to your heart your soul your true purpose that's what you need to choose okay and I see that you're being presented with this myriad of choices okay um, and some of these choices yes you know their relationships their romantic connections some are business some are professional some are personal um, goals um, endeavors it's just right now I feel like you're at a crossroads or you're about to there's a crossroads that's coming up for you okay some of you can't see it from the vantage point of where you're at but let me tell you you're getting closer to it and all you need to know is that you need to follow your gut see you're an air sign a lot of the time most of the time you guys like to intellectualize and rationalize okay but right now there's this tension I can see that there's a tension between your head and your heart follow your gut because that's going to make you choose ultimately the path that is in your highest good. Also, I feel like you have to work on embracing all parts of yourself. That's the other message that I get for you. Okay, and this is all, I feel like this is all interwoven into your journey as well. Um, you have to work on parts of yourself that it could be the shadow self, okay, the parts of yourself that are imperfect or the parts of yourself that are often being repressed and ignored, okay. The, the Three of um, Swords is a message for you to embrace what you believe are your perceived flaws, okay. Embrace those parts of you because no one or nothing is perfect, okay. So I need you to, or the cards more specifically, are inviting for you to let go of past mistakes or past decisions that you're not necessarily proud of okay of, or, of your imperfections or your flaws or your insecurities and you need to embrace all parts of yourself I also feel like there's some sort of wound that is still festering okay three of swords and you know what healing is a very unique and is a very individual journey and I'm not telling you to hurry up this process I'm not but I'm here to tell you that there's something, the reason why this wound still festers and bleeds is because I feel like you're picking at it, okay? And every time you pick at a scab, it, it sort of delays the healing process, doesn't it? So whether this is a wound on a mental um, or a physical or even like a philosophical level, okay? Um, I feel like there's something here that you're doing that's preventing the, the healing process or it's delaying the healing process okay so and again I'm not saying for you to hurry up because this this could be a lifetime okay or well, this could be you know healing could take a lifetime but what I'm just trying to communicate is that there is something here that's delaying this healing process and that's all a part of your journey and I feel like there's something here that you're doing that is essentially you know it, it's not serving you in a positive way okay whether it's reliving certain memories whether it's beating yourself up over past mistakes whether it's still holding on to some sort of anger hurt or resentment because that's like you know that's like doing that is like pouring yourself a cup of poison and drinking it okay it's just you need to learn to embrace you know the past or what didn't work out or embrace this you know you need to kind of feel it to heal it repressing it or suppressing it is not healing it um 
you have to know that there's just so much for you I feel like you've gone through so much growth okay which is why you you've been through um, so much pain or so much turbulence and so much turmoil lately you've been through a lot of growth I can see physical emotional mental spiritual I feel like it's happened on all levels um, it's definitely made you stronger it's definitely made you wiser more resilient And I feel like what lies ahead for you is better than you had it, have imagined. It is. Um, but I feel like right now, you do have a choice or a decision to make. And I'll tell you what that choice is. It's to choose you. Okay? Because once you start choosing yourself, you'll start aligning yourself with the people. Okay? The, the very things that are destined for you. Okay, but that all starts, you know, that soulful alignment all starts with choosing you, choosing yourself. And for a lot of you, I feel like you are in this place. It feels a little bit unfamiliar because, you know, you, you might have never prioritized yourself and you might have never um, chosen yourself in the past. Maybe you've, give, you've always given yourself and your a love away to other people. But now it's time to focus all of that love um, and that, you know, that nourishment. Now it's time to draw that energy inwards. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of growth, a lot of happiness, a lot of love, love on different levels. OK, love for what you do, love for self-love, um, love for other people. Um, just a love and a zest for life, a love for dreams come true, a romantic love, a soulful Thai connection, a soulmate, relationships, romantic relationships, connections, um, friendships, your relationships and ties with family members and just people around you are going to strengthen and they're going to grow in abundance. I feel like there's so much love and you deserve it because I feel like there's been a lot of pain and hurt in your life and after every dark night comes a brighter day and you're about to get you're about to get an exceptionally um there's like an exceptionally bright future that awaits for you but you need to make a choice to choose that okay and that begins with choosing yourself um, I just want to wrap this up by saying pay very close attention, okay, to these signs and synchronicities, especially dreams, um, music, music is another big one, uh, films, anything that you keep hearing on a repeated basis, you know what that is? That is the universe trying to communicate to you. Um, obviously, you know, the conversation between you and the universe is very personal and it's up to you to interpret what those messages are. Okay, because how someone else interprets those messages for you um, is not is not likely to land with you because those messages are very personal and very unique and very specific to you as well. So start paying attention if you haven't and start interpreting, start listening, start communicating back with the universe because it's here to, you're already on this journey and it's here to open up so many doors and windows of opportunity for you that I feel like what lies ahead is far better than you could have imagined for yourself. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.